All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix WebRTC leaks in Chrome and Firefox. The first thing you're going to want to do is to see if you have any. And you can see that I do because I'm showing local IPs right there. All right, you're probably wondering how do I get rid of that. Well, in Chrome, there's a few ways. Easy way would be to go to your extensions and get WebRTC leak prevent and then uh, get uBlock Origin. You only need one or the other. Um, WebRTC will be fine. And just go ahead and enable that or download it for yourself. I'm going to enable both of them because this is also um, an ad blocker as well, which works in a tracking blocker. If you go to options under uBlock, you would need to go to privacy and check that box to prevent WebRTC leak. Now that would work in Firefox as well, but there's a better way in Firefox to turn it off. And we're going to go ahead and do a quick test in Chrome to see if it works. And those two boxes should go away, and they're gone. So WebRTC is fixing Chrome. Firefox is going to work a little bit differently. You can actually turn it off within the browser. You don't actually need an extension. You would just go to about colon config. Go ahead and enter that in. And uh, it's going to be a peer media dot peer connection enabled. Media dot peer connection enabled. Um, you could type it like that. And you're going to go ahead and want to. I already have mine toggled. You're going to go ahead and want to toggle that to false. And once you have that toggled to false, if you go to ipleak.net, you should see that it's completely gone. It'll say no web RTC. And that's what's, and it's gone. All that is is just your local IP. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, there's thousands of people, maybe even millions, that have the same IP as you, local IP. But that's just one way you can get rid of it.